Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? My name is Adam Moose, and today, we're gonna be continuing our series called In-Depth. This video is gonna be an in-depth guide on Master Yi Jungle. In this series, we'll be going over the difference between an average Master Yi player and a great one. Although there are a ton of right-clicking memes about Master Yi, understanding how to optimally use this kit can turn a double kill into a pentakill. If you do enjoy this video, it would really help me out if you could leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading an in-depth guide every Wednesday, so hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my posts. Hope you guys can learn something. Enjoy the video. Abilities. Now let's talk about Master Yi's abilities and how to successfully use his kit. Master Yi's passive is called Double Strike. Every few auto attacks, you strike your enemy twice. Since you double strike when you're auto attacking an enemy, this passive scales with attack speed. Master Yi's entire kit revolves around putting out as many autos as possible. Master Yi's Q is called Alpha Strike. This is Master Yi's signature anti-counterplay button. You teleport to the enemy, becoming untargetable, and striking four times. These four strikes can either spread out between multiple enemies, or strike the same enemy repeatedly. You can use this spell to dodge key abilities in CC as well. If your target dies while on your Alpha Strike, you'll return to the starting point. Basic attacks lower your Alpha Strike's cooldown, allowing you to queue multiple times in a fight if you can stick to your enemies. Master Yi's W is called Meditate. This is a channeling ability that causes you to heal and reduce incoming damage. While channeling your W, the duration of your E and R actives are both paused as well. This lets you use your W to avoid getting bursted, without having to worry about wasting your ult. If timed correctly, you can also press W to reduce incoming damage and then continue chopping down the enemy. Your W also resets your basic attack timer, allowing you to pull off an auto attack reset if you briefly meditate. Avoid using your meditate when the enemy still has their CC since it will cancel your channel. Master Yi's E is called Buju Style. You empower your sword for the next couple seconds, causing your basic attacks to deal bonus true damage. Activate your E as soon as you're about to start auto attacking so you can use every single second of the bonus true damage. And finally, Master Yi's R is called Highlander. Once activated, Master Yi gains a huge burst of movement speed and attack speed, while also making him immune to any slows or cripples. While active, champion kills or assists extend Highlander's duration and also reduce the cooldown of your other spells. Keep in mind that your ultimate is not only an engage, but a disengage. Avoid getting into fights while your R is on cooldown since Master Yi is extremely dependent on Highlander to be effective. Runes. Let's talk about the best rune setups among high elo Master Yi players. There are actually multiple solid options when it comes to runes for Master Yi. First, we'll talk about the most commonly used tree, Precision. The most popular keystone choice on Master Yi is Conquer. This is by far the best late game scaling rune, as once you get it fully stacked, you'll be a complete 1v9 machine with a ton of sustain. Although I do really enjoy Conquer, Keep in mind that this rune is actually weaker in the early game compared to the other keystones that we'll discuss. Secondly, let's talk about Press the Attack. This is a rune used by many high elo Master Yi players since it makes you very hard to 1v1 in the early game. Press the Attack in combination with Ignite is something that allows you to get the edge on a lot of the meta junglers. To close out your rune page in the Precision Tree, you'll pretty much always take Triumph Secondary alongside either Legend Alacrity or Tenacity. Alacrity for attack speed scaling and tenacity if the enemy team is filled with CC. Lastly, you pretty much always take Coup de Gras or Last Stand. Most players take Coup de Gras, but Last Stand is very underrated in my opinion, since you'll absolutely shred people once you're low on HP. Domination Secondary with Ravenous Hunter is a must have in my opinion. This single rune provides Master Yi with an insane amount of scaling into the late game. The healing from Ravenous Hunter procs on his E, magic damage from Blood Razor, Rage Blade, Wit's End, Blade of the Rune King, and the list goes on. I think not taking this rune is just straight up wrong since it provides you with an insane amount of value. To close out this rune setup, you either want to take Eyeball Collection for some snowball potential, or Sudden Impact for a bit of extra burst once you queue onto a target. To close out the rune section, we'll discuss Halo Blades. This can be another solid option if you're looking to have a really strong early game. I personally prefer Press the Attack, but Halo Blades gives you the highest possible burst potential. Here's the rune setup that I would recommend for this page. Items. Now let's get into Master Yi's item choices. 
Firstly, 90% of Master Yi players start with Hunter's Machete, since you want to be focused on clearing your single target camps early on. Red Smite is the most common choice as well, since Master Yi's early game usually revolves around 1v1s or 2v2s. Blue Smite can be viable if you're versus a full ranged comp that's hard to lock down, but in most cases, Red Smite is the way to go. Blood Razor into Gwinsu's Rage Blade is the lethal 2 item combo that you're looking to pick up pretty much every game on Master Yi. Since you're so reliant on auto attacking, you become an absolute monster once these two items are complete. The great part about Blood Razor and Gwinsu's combo is that you also start to do a ton of magic damage as well. This makes it very hard for the enemy to itemize against you. If you can make it to these items, either even or ahead, you're in a really good spot. For boots, you'll usually pick up Ninja Tabbies or Merc Treads, depending on if you want tenacity or extra damage reduction versus auto attacks. To close out your build, there are a bunch of options, so I'll list them all out here. Wits End for on-hit damage, healing and magic resist, Death Dance for anti-burst and a lot of sustain, Blade of the Rune King for lifesteal and an active slow, Sterax for a big shield to avoid getting bursted, GA for an extra life if you need to win a crucial teamfight, and Mercurial Simtar for a CC cleanse. You can even get tank items such as Randuin's, Spirit Visage, and Dead Man's Plate if you just need to survive longer in fights. I'll also address AD Master Yi. This means you take Warrior as your jungle item and take more of an assassin role. I do think Blood Razor is a better fit in general, but Warrior is a viable option into squishy teams. I would recommend this setup with either Pressy Attack or Halo Blades. Jungle Pathing. On Master Yi, I would recommend three main jungle paths depending on the jungle matchup and your favorite playstyle. First, let's talk about my personal favorite, the level three rush. This path includes clearing both your buffs and Gromp. I like to start where my bot lane is to get a good leash, but you can easily do this path with no leash. Once you're level three, your options are wide open. If running Ignite and let's say Halo Blades, you can easily go contest enemy jungler at their camps since you're very strong at this point. If you like to play safer and continue to full clear and take Scuttle Crab, you can do this as well. The level three rush is the most flexible path that allows you to do a bit of everything. Keep in mind that you're not the best ganking jungler pre-level 6, so don't try and force ganks when your laners are pushed up. If you're able to find a gank opportunity, try and get an auto range before using your Q. You can save your Q for when the enemy flashes to follow them for the ride. Level 2 Invade This path might be very unexpected for most people, but Master Yi's level 2 is surprisingly strong. If you're running Conquer, Master Yi can outduel a lot of champions. Be very careful when doing this path though, since you have no escape tools in your kit. You will always want to start red buff before invading, since the auto attack slow lets you stick on targets. You can catch a lot of players off guard by showing up in melee range of them with red buff while they're clearing their camps. Lastly would be the full clear path. The full clear on Master Yi, always make sure you're clearing your blue side first since you kill your single target camps the fastest. This also puts them on early respawn timers so you can reach level 6 as soon as possible. When playing a heavy farming style, keep an eye on the minimap at all times. You can easily sneak away dragons if the enemy jungler shows topside. Your goal with this path is to rush level 6 and take as many objectives as you can while being efficient. Tips while clearing. Save your E for your passive double strike. Doing this does not make a huge difference, but it will slightly improve your clear speed. If looking to gank early on, make sure to include red buff into your path. Master Yi needs the red buff slow to pull off ganks successfully. You can use your Q to dodge dragon pushback, rift herald swipe, and even the auto attacks from your jungle camps. Be very careful when using your W between camps since it has an extremely long cooldown. If you plan on fighting soon, save your meditate for the fight. Weaknesses Although this is a how to play Master Yi guide, it's very important to understand his weaknesses so that you can minimize them in your games. Master Yi's biggest weakness is that he's very weak against heavy CC comps. Since you usually be building damage items, getting locked down by CC will usually mean that you get instantly bursted. Be extremely careful when playing Master Yi into champs like Leona and Blitzcrank, who can lock you down before you're even able to fight back. Secondly, Master Yi does also struggle against champions with a lot of mobility. Since your entire kit requires you to auto attack to do damage, if you're not able to get in melee range, you're gonna have some serious problems. Lastly, Master Yi is a bit one-dimensional, which can lead to some problems in very high elo. Yi is a strong pick until around high diamond master tier. Master's plus is where you're going to start running into some problems, where players are just much more knowledgeable on how to shut you down. 
strengths. Let's talk about what makes Master Yi great. Firstly, Yi is a very simple champion whose kit is easy to understand. This makes him a great pick in low elo since he's not hard to play at a decent level. If I were to recommend new jungle players one champion to climb on, I would probably recommend Master Yi first. Master Yi is also one of the best objective taking junglers in the game. You can absolutely melt dragons and rift herald if the enemy jungler is out of position. If you're really fed, Master Yi can even solo Baron which will instantly turn a game on its head. One thing that's underrated about Master Yi is his ability to tower dive. No one will expect you to tower dive the enemy top laner at level 3 using your alpha strike to dodge tower shots and drop turret aggro. Lastly would be the monster late game scaling potential that people think of when they see a Master Yi. This allows you to pull off some crazy 1v5 fights in the late game if you can catch the enemy team slipping. Master Yi is one of those champs who can easily carry the whole game if you have the items to do so. That'll do it for my in-depth guide on Master Yi Jungle. If you stay to the end and have any questions or opinions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you did enjoy, it helps me out so much if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with my posts. I post gameplay guides pretty much daily, and I'll be posting an in-depth guide every Wednesday. Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it, peace out.